Welcome back to Frank's Favorite Foods where I'm always cooking up a good time. This is the channel where I teach you how to make restaurant quality food at home. Another recipe from the motherland, Uncle Drew's Old Bay Chicken Wings. Inspired by my brother, these wings were a huge hit at my restaurant True in Boca Raton, Florida. If you're not a subscriber, you should be. Hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. That way you'll know every time I put out a video. We're gonna start off by cutting some nice celery and carrot sticks. The celery and carrot sticks are a refreshing break from the spicy chicken wings. If you move your knife around just a little bit, you'll find the joints that separate the tip from the flat and the flat from the drumette. So my secret, not so secret, chicken wing marinade is two tablespoons of pickle juice. I'm gonna lightly coat the wings and toss them. The other ingredient in the marinade is of course Old Bay. The important thing here is to put it on gradually. I want the wings to be flavorful, but not super salty and over seasoned. As you mix them, the seasoning gets absorbed. Once you've changed the color to a light red, I think you're all set. Put your wings in a Ziploc bag and put them in the refrigerator for at least an hour. I'm using two cups of vegetable oil to cook eight wings. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not above reusing vegetable oil, but these wings are gonna to need to cook for a little while, so you should probably start with fresh. I'm gonna fry these chicken wings at a temperature just below the temperature I'd normally use. I demand a lot of my chicken wing. I want it to be crispy, juicy, and I want it to fall off the bone. I'm gonna fry these wings for a total of about 15 minutes. But it's not uncommon for restaurants to double fry their chicken wings. Pre-frying them for eight minutes and then another eight minutes for service. I've got to have blue cheese dressing with wings. You're going to need three quarters of a cup of mayonnaise, a teaspoon of freshly minced garlic, not the stuff in the jar, 25 twists of fresh black pepper, and two tablespoons of good quality crumble blue cheese. I buy lots of bottled salad dressing, but I don't buy blue cheese dressing anymore just because this recipe is so good. So I just want to keep an eye on my wings, move them around in the pan because there's not a whole lot of oil in the pan. You don't want them sitting in one spot for too long. The easy wing sauce is two tablespoons of butter and a third of a cup of Old Bay hot sauce. All you need to do is melt the butter. Like I said, I like my wings crispy, so I turned up the heat at the end, and you can see these are really golden brown. I thought I had this really good footage of me flipping the wings and the sauce, but I forgot to film it. Anyway, they turned out great, absorbing the sauce, remaining crispy. Hey, I wanna thank my brother for sharing this recipe. He is the only person who might like crabs more than I do, and whose love of crabs might only be exceeded by his devotion to the Baltimore Ravens. Once again, thank you. If you hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell, you'll know every time I put out a video. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and share it with a friend. And I'll see you next time.